Okay, this is the first example for second method, which is example 2.5. So we can see the question. The velocity of an upward rocket is given by this equation, where m naught is the initial mass of a rocket at t equal to zero. Okay, you can ignore the unit here. Q is the rate at which fuel is expelled. And U is the velocity at which the fuel is being expelled. Given the initial mass of the rocket is 100,000 kilograms, the rocket expelled fuel at velocity of 1,400 at a consumption rate of 1,500 and G is equal to 9.8067. Fine. The time needed for the velocity of the rocket to reach 130 by using second method over the interval 10, 11. Use four decimal places in your calculation. So the question asks you to find the time needed for the velocity of rocket to reach 130. So meaning that our velocity here is actually 130 here. We know here. And in order for us to answer this question, we need to make sure that we need to rearrange this equation. By using this equation, the first thing you need to do is for you to rearrange first because we need to find Vt at 130. What is the time needed? So, rearrange the formula. Just make sure that you rearrange it back. So you can see that we rearrange back this Vt because we already have 130 here. So this is actually 130. So we need to find the T, eh? the new time. So then you just rearrange it going back. So you have here is minus 130. And then replace it. This is a new things to find, fun new function. And then this is your formula. So you have here 180. So we already have our u here. Our u here is given by okay 1,400 here. Okay, is it our velocity 104,000? So you can see that u is actually our velocity, okay, which the fuel is been expelled. Okay, so we have done with one formula. So this is actually this one. Okay, here is our lawn and then our mass at initial so represent by this mass initial mass is actually given here our initial mass is 100,000 so so we have 100,000 here okay this is correct so here one two three four five okay 100,000 then this is also correct so we have our m initial mass then we minus with our q where Q is our rate at which the fuel will be expelled. So the given consumption rate is actually 105,000. So you can see that it is there. Then minus with 9.807. So we have our gravity here. So this is our G here. And then don't forget this T here. Okay. Don't be, make sure. Eh? Don't tell us. Okay. So we have this one. So there you get your if it, uh, your FT that we will be using it uh, all in the equation afterwards. I hope you can digest this uh, how they rearrange and also uh, how the value being put. Next, eh? please please be careful. After we already get the formula, so we need to tabulate the second table. Okay, so you can see that. The first thing that you need to do is for you to find this. You already have this formula. Okay, we are done with the first step. Okay, the second step will be the input 2.3. So we have already done this second method formula. And the third one is for you to tabulate the second method table. Okay, so in second method table, we have I, we have uh, zero, uh, the initial iteration and 1. So this is actually how we tabulate it. We have A and B here for our T interval. So we have our F, T, C and D. In order for us to get this one, so 
we need to select our interval A and B. So in this case, in this question, it's been given here the interval is 10 and 1. So the lower one will be A, the higher one will be B. So you can just put it in the table. Okay, 10 and 11. Okay, next what to do is for you to fill in our FT. So how we are going to do this? So you will use this formula, FT, and then you are going to put it in here. So try to punch your calculator to get this formula. See if you can get the same answer as me. Okay, let's try. Okay. Make sure you key in properly here. So 1400 lon, this is the same, bracket. So you need to choose this two level. So make sure this is 100,000. Okay. And then at the bottom one is 100,000. Okay, make sure eh? do not uh do not jang careless eh? no careless. Okay, so this is one thousand five hundred, not one hundred and fifty. Eh? Be careful here. Usually student will make mistake here. So I replace T with alpha X because I'm using X here. Okay, no T here, so I replace T with X for calculator purpose. Okay, minus with nine point eight zero six seven alpha X. T is replaced by X and minus one hundred and thirty. When you get this one, don't press anything else, just click calculate, then enter your first value of A because we want to find this FT for this one, for C. So for the first one, we are going to enter 10 because the interval A is 10. So key in 10, then you will get the new value here. And then for the next one, A is just click calculate, so 11. So enter so you have 14 so let us check the answer okay so try again just to compare so for 11 we will have 14.5493 so we have the constant here so you would like to check for this one 10 okay just key in 10 just then we have minus 0 0.540 Five. So we are done for these four tables. So we can proceed with the next table. Okay, then we need to find our new xi plus 2 here. In order for us to find this one, we need to use the formula of secant. So we are going to use this formula. So we have the secant formula here. So we have uh, AD minus BC divided by d minus c so we are going to use this formula so we will enter our value here so be careful so we have a b c and d so enter according to the variable so the first one calculate our a is 10 okay now it's asking for d eh? be careful Okay, so look at D. So D is here. Here, eh? It's not B, eh? It's D. So D is here. So enter 14.5793. If you are very good in using storing, so you can use, eh? If you do not uh, uh, know how to use the storing, I'll recall here and then it will be no problem. You can just do manual as I. Okay, so calculate. Okay, enter. So then is our B is 11. Then enter. Then our C is minus. Okay, be careful. Eh? Don't forget the minus sign. So 0 0.5405. Okay, make sure everything is correct in order. So then you will get our your new xi plus 2 here. So we will get 10.0357. Okay, there you go. And now you shall proceed until you find the stopping value here, which T4 minus T3 is less than 0 0.001, eh? less than tolerance 0 0.005. Here is not mentioned, that Peter, we will assume. Uh, the tolerance is uh, must be less than 0 0.005 in this case eh? 
you are not yet knowing this this T4 and T, T3 eh this is because I know the answer already so you need to make sure that when you minus T uh, future and previous it should be less than 0 0.005 okay now we will proceed using the same method so in this case uh, we need to find first our FT so FT is actually this one so we need to key in the new value here so just go uh, back this formula just press replay up okay don't press anything else okay just press up so you get this one click calculate okay then enter the new value 10.035 Seven. So we will see the answer will be minus zero point zero zero eight three. So it's this. It is the same. So just put here, and then we will try to find our new x i plus two here. So in order to do that, we need to rearrange back a b c d value. Okay, in this case, so because this is our new value, so we, this is actually our new b, and this is our new d. Meaning that the upper one will be our new A, and this will be our new C. So we will use this form, this value, to get our new X I plus two here. Okay, repeating the same process. Replay, going down. Oh, sorry. Okay, get this back. Okay, just replay. Press calculate. So our new A here for the our new value here is. A is actually our new value is 11 okay just 11 now our D eh? okay, make sure this is our C make sure you look at your, your D here so this is minus okay this is actually minus 0 0.0083 equal then our B be careful look at your B here so we have 10 Point zero three five seven, and then our last value will be our C here. It should be fourteen point five seven nine three. Okay, so you can see here that we will have our new X I plus two here, which is ten point zero three six two. So this is the same thing. Then what happened afterward? You will repeat the whole process, okay, and you will get. Then find this one. Just go up and then calculate. Put the value of uh, ten point zero three six two. So then you will have your minus zero point zero zero nine, and then the next one will be your new a. Here will be your new a. New a. This is will be your new will be your new C this will be your new B and this will be your new D so it will repeat the process until you look at this value okay so make sure that you need to find this is absolute eh? absolute eh? it did not count sign it count only value so we can see that 10.0363 minus with 10.0362 will give you this one so it means that it is less than tolerance so you can stop so means that our t4 is actually the answer for your question which is 10.0363 so we have the second method answer for this question so we have find the time needed for the velocity of rocket to reach 130 so i hope you can understand this example